citing an infographic in MLA 8. In this video, I am going to talk about how to cite an infographic using MLA 8. If you haven't watched the overview of citing in MLA 8 video, I recommend you take a look at it before proceeding with this video. This video will show you how to find and format each component of the citation for an infographic. We have a separate video on how to format your works cited page. Before we start, let me note that infographics come from all different sources. You can consult MLA if the directions that I am providing do not make sense given where you found your infographic. The template for citing an infographic comes directly from our nine core elements. The title of the infographic italicized or a description of it if it has no title, the title of the web page in quotation marks, by the author's first and last name, the date of publication written as day, month, year, and then a period, Next comes the name of the website in italics, a comma, and the URL, and then a period. Last comes a date of access if no publication date is available. So over here, I have gone to Google and searched under images for internet usage and then selected that I want to look at infographics. And the infographic I've decided I want to use is this one here. But I don't want to cite Google Images. I want to cite the website where this infographic comes from. So to do that, if you right click and select Open Link in a new tab, this will open the web page where this infographic comes from. And I'm going to use this information to make my citation. So first, I want to scroll down so I'm looking at the actual infographic, which is this one. The first thing I need is the title of the infographic. And I can see here that this is titled, How the World Spends Its Time Online. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. Followed by a period. Now, the title of an infographic needs to be italicized, and there are two ways to do that. If I highlight the title, I can use a keyboard shortcut, which on a Mac would be Command and the letter I, or in Windows would be Control and the letter I, or I can find this italics button up here that looks like a slanted I and click on that. If for some reason my infographic is untitled, I'm going to instead provide a description of it. So maybe I would write an infographic about internet usage. If it's a description and not a title, you do not italicize it. The next thing I need is the title of the web page. So moving back to the top of this web page, here is the title four infographics about online trends, internet usage, and social media infographic. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in, putting it in quotation marks. After the title of a web page comes a comma, which I'm going to put inside my quotation marks. Then I write by and the author of this web page's name. Right here, I can see that this web page is written by Anson Alexander. So I'm going to go ahead and type in his name, first name, and then last name, followed by a comma. Next comes the date of publication, and right here next to his name, I can see that this was written and published on April 9th of 2011, 
we write that as day, month, year. So that'll be 9 April, which because it is more than four letters, we can abbreviate to APR period. So 9 April 2011. And I'm going to follow this with a period. Next, I need the name of the website. And this is a good example of how sometimes the name of the website isn't super obvious. I think the best I can do here is to go ahead and call this AnsonAlex.com. So I'm going to type that in. AnsonAlex.com followed by a comma. Again, we need to italicize this. So go ahead and select that and use your keyboard shortcut or find the italics button. And next we need the URL. So I'm going to come over here, select the URL, right click, copy it, come over here, right click again, and paste it in. Once you've pasted the URL, use this formatting box to change it to keep text only. That will get rid of the hyperlink and any other weird formatting. And then this is followed by a period. Now, I want to mention one thing that can make this a little bit more complicated, which is that sometimes web pages do not indicate when they were published. So let's say that this didn't list April 9th, 2011 as a publication date. In that case, we need to do something slightly different. To show you, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and paste it again down here. So we're pretending that we don't have a date of publication. In this case, we need a date of access. And to include that, we write accessed and then today's date. So I'm going to go ahead and type in accessed and then today's date, which is April 24th, 2019. I'll write this again as day, month, year. So that'll be 24 APR period to abbreviate April 2019. And then again, I can end with a period. The reason for including a date of access is because web pages without a publication date are subject to change. And in case what is on this web page were to change, we need to include a date of access so that we know what information was on the web page when you visited it. And that is how you go about making a citation for an infographic. If you have additional questions about making citations or would like assistance with any other stage of the writing process, please visit us at the Writing Center. This link will take you to our website. You can use the yellow Make an Appointment button to schedule an appointment.